Well, today is the video that many middle schoolers are really can't wait for. Today, we're going to talk about dating. Science? Dating? Well, maybe not the right type of dating you're thinking about. We're going to talk about relative dating. No, and that's not when you take your cousin out to a movie, although that might be relative dating in some states. We don't need to mention it. Now, today we're going to talk about relative dating. And really, what relative dating is a way of figuring out how old things are. All right, so in this video, we're going to do three things. Number one, we're going to define what is exactly relative dating. We're going to look at some examples to see if we can use it. And it's something you actually use all the time without even knowing it. And third, we're going to understand the types of information and the types of dates we can get from relative dating. So let's see if we can define relative dating. Well, relative dating is using relationships to put things in order. Let me give you an example. You ever listen to a little kid tell you a story? Yeah, a lot of times they get really strung out. And they add, add lots of details and they add different pieces. And you hear my, my sound something like this. Uh, first I went to the kitchen and I got a cookie. It was a really good cookie. And then I ate the cookie. And then I decided to go back and get another cookie. But then mom came in and told me to stop eating the cookie. But it was really delicious, so I then just ate it. You see, a lot of times I use this word, and then. I put things in order. There was a time to the event, right? We were able to figure out this happened, and then this happened, and then this happened, right? We put events in order. And relative dating is just putting things in order. Now, most relative dating, and especially when we're talking about science, we don't get a story or a bunch of and thens. Instead, we get little snapshots, little pictures. It might be a layer of rock. It might be, well, some picture. So let's see if we can do it. In this video, we're going to look at different examples of some relative datings and putting things in order. So I'm going to bring up some pictures. So There's going to be four pictures, a very handsome gentleman of uh, different times, and I want you to put them in order. Which picture happened first? What picture then happened second? Not, right? So use your knowledge of how people grow old, that relationship, to put them in order. All right? Check it out. Like I said, some pretty handsome guy right there. All right, so we're going to figure out which one happened first. Well, what happened first? If you wrote down B, you're right. The first thing that happened is I was a baby. Yes, that's right. They're all pictures of me at different times. You can tell my mom would be very excited right now. No, instead, B, I'm a little kid, a little toddler finding an Easter egg. Check it out, it's right here. All right, then the next one, what'd you get? It's A. Right? I'm actually, that's my 8th grade picture from junior high. Yeah, ooh, it was a rough one. It was before Harry Potter was cool. See, I made Harry Potter cool. Now we're on the same page. Right? Then it's D. That is actually my senior picture from high school. And finally, C is a picture from my honeymoon. So, you can see, based on how we know people get old, the relationship on how people get old, what happened first, what happened second, and what happened third. Right? We put these events in order. We know the relationships. All right, so I want you to try this. I've got two more examples. I want you to write them down in your Cornell note sheets, and we'll bring them back to class, and we'll talk about it in class. So I'm going to disappear for just a second, and I'm going to have some pictures up there, and I want you to figure out which one happened first, what happened second, third, fourth, and write them down. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so there you go, right? We were able to figure out which one happened, and we'll check it out in class, and we'll see if you're right. I'm sure you will be. Well, let's talk a little really quick what Cornell note sheets are not. And then we're going to go back to my baby pictures. They're going to be really small. Cornell note sheets, I'm sorry, take it back, relative dating, um, you're not really able to figure out an exact age, right? If you look at that first picture that, of me as a little toddler, B, um, you can't tell the exact date. Now, we might be able to get some clues. We see that it's in Easter, because I have an Easter egg, so it probably is Easter Day. You could probably backtrack saying, well, he's in his 30s, so it's got to be probably sometime in the 80s. 
right? So you could probably figure out things that way. But in the end, it's not giving us an exact date. There's no date stamped on that picture, right? Relative dating doesn't give us dates. We can't exactly figure out ex um, the exact date of something. But what we can figure out is what happened first, what happened second, which happened third. And it gives us an order. Now, later on in some videos, we're going to use geology to see how geology uses relative dating to figure out exact, not exact dates, but orders of events. And we'll see later on exactly how we figure out exact dates. But I wanted to just introduce this idea of relative dating. So, let's take a look at what the three things we did in this video. One, we defined relative dating. Relative dating is using relationships. How someone gets older. Um, how, well, it's using relationships to figure out how the order of something. We looked at some examples and you wrote them in your Cornell note sheet. We're going to check them back in class when you come. And finally, we understand the types of information that relative dating can get you. It's orders. It can't get us an exact date. But we can put stuff in, in events in order. So I want to remind you how these videos work. Remember, you can always hit pause if something's confusing, rewind it a little bit, or even watch it again, right? But always remember to keep moving forward.